Hi, I'm Kathleen Tometz of Doodle Art and Design, and I'm going to show you how to design a chair. So chairs are really cool because they're ubiquitous, which means they're everywhere. Um, there've been chair contests. Um, there was one in Battery Park in New York a number of years ago, and people from all over the world submitted their designs, and the the patrons of the park tested them with their bottoms by sitting in them and picking the their most favorite chair. So, and the cool thing about a chair is if you can sit on it, it's a chair. So it's just fun. There's so many different designs that you can do. So what you need for this project, it, well, I like, I, I always like my projects to have sort of a good presentation. So this is like a, um, a wood tile essentially from Home Depot. They're free. They sell, they give away boxes of them. So it makes a nice little floor and then some paper so that you can make a rug for it. I like to do that. And wire. I think this is 14 gauge or 12 gauge. It's pretty soft and bendable and sticky foam. It's, I know not good for the environment, especially with these sparkles. Um, but it makes a good base, you'll see. So you also can use um, ply wire cutters, which I don't have, but I'm just gonna use my hands uh, because I also recommend you do not cut your a piece of wire. I would measure it out like three feet and then work with one continuous piece. You'll be much happier. So uh, I'm going to do, I think my a fun, I'm gonna have my, picnic rug. I'm going to do this first so that it's done. So you just want to cut the middle. There it is. So that you have um, a nice rug. You don't have to do the rug. I just think it's a nice finishing um, touch and I'm going to glue it on so it doesn't move. You don't have to glue it. Uh, and then I'm going to take my chair. Well, first I'm going to show you some inspiration. So when I say there's a lot of different kind of chairs out there, I don't, I'm not kidding. That's a flower pot chair and an octopus chair, a library chair. Uh, that's a doodle chair that I made myself with stuffed doodle dogs. And I love this leg crossing chair. So lots of chairs. I mean, you can look it up. You can go on my Pinterest. So what I do is I just start, I unroll my wire a little bit and then I just bend it. So I usually like to start maybe with the um, seat and then go up. I'm gonna just do a very simple chair that you could spend a lot of time on it. I've had kids in my classes make computer chairs with computer screens and all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm just gonna do a simple chair. Well, maybe I'll do I was thinking I could do a heart. That's a nice chair, but I think I'm just going to stick to really, really simple. And this is almost going to be like um, an ice cream uh, parlor chair. So I've got the back and I've got the seat. And then I'm just going to try and get this a little bit more secure. And then I'm going to start doing the legs. So you can do a really quick chair or you can spend more time in it. I'm actually running out of wire. So I'm going to do, I'm going to play with it like this. And so one of the things to know about wire is it's, it's sculptural. So you pretty much can bend it and mold it. So since I didn't do enough legs, I am going to turn these double legs into four legs. So I've got like kind of a Actually, it almost looks hot dogish like my, mm, look at that. And it stands up, which is important for the chair. And then you take the sticky foam. So I'm going, since I got a green sort of thing going on, I'm just going to cut out my foam. That's why I love the sticky foam, because then you're going to just peel it. And now you have a seat. 
and I'm going to do a sparkly back to my chair. So I'm doing this really quickly. You can do this way slower, obviously, and spend I'll put a lot of detail in it. Like maybe putting back to the to the chair. I'm not going to do that in this case, but so see you have a nice kind of fun green chair and it has a nice display it, presentation. So, thank you. I'm Kathleen Tomets from Doodle Art and Design, and I hope you found this project fun. Thanks. Bye.